In early August, North Korea threatened to launch four intermediate-range ballistic missiles to a point about 30 or 40 kilometers off the coast of Guam. Tom, could you walk us through how U.S. missile defense systems would respond if such a launch was detected? So if that happens, the United States would first detect the missile's heat signatures with satellites such as the Defense Support Program or the newer space-based infrared system. Those satellites would then cue terrestrial radars, such as the Tipi-2 X-band radars in Japan and South Korea, which track the missiles with greater precision. The threat missiles would be within the radar field of view for perhaps five or six minutes. Aegis BMD ships might also be in position to track the missile's flight. The trajectory of the missiles headed from North Korea to Guam would take them over the southern part of Japan. They'd fly just south of Hiroshima, and at that point, they'd be at an altitude of about 700 kilometers. So, Tom, if the U.S. determined that these missiles were actually a threat to Guam, what systems would be called upon to respond? If the U.S. determines the missiles to be a potential threat, we might try to shoot them down using various missile defense interceptors. This might include the sea-launched Standard Missile 3, launched from an Arleigh Burke-class destroyer, or a land-based THAAD battery based in Guam, or some combination of the two. Both systems have an excellent test record, but neither has been used in an operational context against a ballistic missile fired in anger. And all of this would happen within a relatively short period of time. So North Korea said it would take about 17 minutes time of flight uh, to reach Guam. Others have said it could take as little as 14 minutes. Of course, it depends on the specific trajectory used. A more lofted trajectory would take longer and rise to a higher altitude in space, while a more shallow trajectory would take a bit less time and stay at a lower altitude. So an intercept attempt with an Aegis standard missile would be outside the atmosphere, close to its apogee during its mid-course, or during its downward descent with the THAAD system. So all of this provides an interesting case study into how such a scenario could unfold and the way U.S. missile defense systems are designed to protect against such threats. Right. This is the kind of threat that we've seen coming for a long time. This is why the systems are located where they are, the radars and the interceptors. Uh, But we hope we don't have to use them. To learn more about both the threat missiles from North Korea and the various missile defense systems, check out missilethreat.csis.org.